I was in Coolum yesterday, a uh, beautiful part of the world, in that little walk between Point Arkwright and yes, Coolum. Yes, the boardwalk is incredible. Stunning views, uh, really beautiful part of the world. And as I was walking back towards my car, I uh, noticed probably about 30 yards ahead of me there was uh, a couple of lads strutting, clearly having just gotten out from a surf. Anyway, I've noticed one of them drop something from their hands as they were walking. And so I've, you know, as I'm walking behind, I thought I'd do the right thing. I pick it up and hand it back, yeah? And it wasn't until I've bent over to pick up said object that I realised it was a pair of grey undies. Oh. Um, <laughs> what did you think it was when you went bent down to pick I it up? I don't know. A hat maybe? So anyway, I'm committed now. I'm not thrilled about picking <laughs> up a pair of undies, but I do it anyway. Because I'm half bent over. It's a over public and, service at this point. <laughs> <laughs> So I pick up the undies by the by the waistband, and you know when you like you hold it out in front of you, like Pinch there's no reason, <laughs> there's no reason to hold it a meter out from you, but you do anyway. It's like when you pick up rubbish that's clearly not yours, and yeah, you yeah. let everyone know that I'm doing a good thing picking up rubbish. So <laughs> look at me picking up rubbish. I'm holding it out here. That's why it's there. Stinky. If it's my rubbish, I'll bring it here, but it's somebody else's. I stop the I stop the boys and go, hey lads, we and uh, hand it back. Anyway, I learned that this man is Kez. And his mate is Randall. As I hand the undies back to Kez, he's very appreciative. But then he looks at me and Randall looks at him and says to him, You freeballing Kez. <laughs> now, they are like these two cheeky teenagers and now Randall's trying to undo Kez's towel. Because to see if he was because freeballing. Because Kez is now freeballing <laughs> and very vulnerable. And Randall's diving around him. And these two are like wrestling, trying to <laughs> grab his towel. And Randall's dead set trying to grab his towel. Come here and like giving him little ribs, rib pokes and the rest yeah, of it yeah, and grab yeah. him by the towel. They fight, he fight each other off and they're having a giggle. I'm getting the giggles because like I'm now part of this and I'm broiled. A half of me wants to protect Kez because I don't want to see what he's about to reveal. And Randall, I'm kind of encouraging him mm. because he's creating a great fun. Well, it's all happening here on the streets of Kilwin. <laughs> yeah. The bit, the bit I neglect to mention, these two would have been meh, mid-80s. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> and that's what makes this story beautiful. <laughs> these two lads have been best mates for over 40 years and go for a swim every day from Point Arkwright round to Coolum. Yeah. This pair of octogenarians oh could have been God. teenagers, Dana, in their spirit. They were so beautiful and they were so much fun and you could clearly see they were best mates. Mm. And if you wanted to sit down and scrutinise, you'd say that's what keeps them young, that spirit of enthusiasm, getting in the surf, loving life and the loving each other air. and yeah. being good mates. So if anyone out there, if you've got one good mate you can count on, you can look after, that's awesome. So the message from this for me is, one, Always look after your mates. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a beautiful thing to see and be a part of yesterday. And two, always take spare undies when surfing with Randall. <laughs>